Grand Community Orchestras are, are very important for me, just as important as, as the professional level, the university level. And I'm here to answer any of your questions. How is it best to start the day? I would spend the first three to five minutes just getting the brain, the mind in order. And as long as the mind is in order, then everything else will follow. So a lot of times people just jump on their instrument and start playing without putting much thought into what they're doing. So I always like to start, and this is no matter what, if I'm playing with the SSO or just practicing on my own, I like to start with some mind clearing on my own. And what I'm gonna do, turn these off, which I'm doing now, so I'll show you how to do it. Turn that off, it's not even airplane mode, just turn it off. This is our time to be with our music, with our tuba practice. Turn the phone off, turn everything off, get your brain to focus on tuba only. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to begin by thinking of the greatest sound I can possibly make. And I also wanna think about how easy I want it to be to play. So for example, we'll start with a, a descending B flat scale when we play. So if you all got your tubas, great. Have all your tubas there. Uh, but now put the tubas down because what I want you to do is I want you to all imagine yourself just playing a descending B flat scale, all slurred, with the best sound you've ever played with, with the most amount of air you've played with and with the most amount of ease. And what we're going to do is we're just going to close our eyes and we're going to breathe in. Let's just do this with five of these big deep breaths, okay? That'll be about a half a minute. Here we go. All right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna get the air moving. Because usually what happens when, when things aren't going as well as you want them to go, the air is not working for you. That's usually the problem. So we gotta get the mind going first and the air getting going next. Now, this is only about a five, 10 minute process. And by getting this going at get-go, you're gonna, you're gonna sound the best you can at whatever ability you are at present. And if you have your tubas, go ahead and pick them up. Go ahead and pick up your tubas. So we'll just start uh, with some big, some big breathing through the instrument. Um, big deep breaths. And each time you take those breaths, make them, make them deeper. Now what's gonna happen is your rib cage will expand. Your rib cage is expanding and your stomach is gonna move forward because the bottom of your lungs are gonna be filling up. So what you don't want to do is suck in your tummy and only raise your chest and shoulders when you take an inhale. You want the shoulders to rise and the chest to rise as the ribs expand and the stomach drops. So everything comes open. What a lot of people do is they make the mistake of going like, they bring the tummy in and they bring the shoulders up and it looks it looks like a big breath, but remember the anatomy, our lungs, our lungs take up our whole back. And if you look at an anatomy photo of a human being, the back is all lungs. In the front, it's only about a third or a half because then we have the heart and the stomach. So what we wanna do, especially as tuba players, we really wanna empower all the air that we can fill up in the back in the lower lungs. 
And so we'll just do that a few more times, just with all that in mind, just blowing air through the tuba. Make it easy, make it a natural movement while you are challenging yourself to expand your rib cage and drop your diaphragm and raise the chest all at once. Let's do five of these together. The next thing to do is to repeat that same process, but put all your valves down and you'll feel the resistance. Let's do that, five of those. Great. So what you want to do is you want to just get used to the feeling of that air going out. And on your mouthpiece, you have this tiny hole here. And that's going to be the smallest opening that you're going to be blowing through when you play the tuba. And that's going to be the biggest point of resistance. So if you want to take um, some breathing exercises to the next level, take your mouthpiece out and blow through the back. Take a big breath and just lean with your air against that little hole that's there. We're training the auto, autopilot of our breathing because what's going to happen is when you're playing in your band or your orchestra or doing your solo competition or your quartet, whatever, as soon as the mind starts thinking about something that's difficult and challenging, the first thing that stops is our breathing. We get worried or we're just focusing. So we want to practice the breathing first away from everything else. So we can become, we can be, become habitual about that. And this is training the subconscious of the mind to get that, to get that air going. And when I'm warming up on my own, say getting ready for a Sydney Symphony Orchestra concert or something like that, I'll just keep repeating this process until it stops getting better. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to do this five times, four times, or for five minutes. I'll just keep doing it until it stops getting better and stops getting more comfortable. So again, the goal is a lot of free, easy flowing air and the most beautiful sound you can make. All right. So what I'm going to do now, five with only the air and then five playing, and you can do this with me. Descending B flat major scales, concert B flat.